Six in the morning, you've got the world to yourself. I suffer from a complicated form of laziness. In time being the greatest luxury, I get up early so I don't have to rush. And I adore rituals. There's something very comforting about repetition. The ritual of making coffee especially so. I'm a fierce coffee snob since it's all about care and detail. Somebody who can't be bothered to make coffee properly can't, I believe, be trusted on any matter whatsoever. And it's got so many aspects, all requiring discrimination and taste. There's the selection of the coffee itself and then there's the method of making it as well as choosing a glass or a cup to drink from. If you enjoy machines, materials and process, and I do, this is all extremely pleasing. Making coffee can't be rushed so I get dressed during percolation. Then there's the matter of the suit. I enjoy suits because uniforms are similar to rituals, yet a lot of indecision is taken away. I merely have to select a fabric suitable for the day ahead. Then there's the careful assembly of other details. My watch is a Rolex because I enjoy mass-produced dignity. For me, a Rolex is close to being the perfect machine. Indestructibly tough, but elegant too. The thing is, Every detail and gesture betrays us. That old truth about shoes being a deadly giveaway is absolutely valid. The great thing about having suits made is the psychological advantage which great comfort brings. I'm convinced bespoke tailoring is the source of the English gentleman's infamous languor. Pascal was so right when he said the majority of mankind's miseries can be traced to an inability to sit alone in a room. But reluctantly, we have to get out. Thinking is a sacrament, and a 50-minute daily walk from Vauxhall to Soho allows uninterrupted time for it. And now, for more rituals. The International New York Times. It's Lifetime's habit. It makes me feel cosmopolitan when in London, and at home when abroad. I like that duality, because all of life is about pictures and postures, and by them we are judged.